I want you to notify me first if anything arises. All right. Thank you again, Officer Randall. Goodbye. Senator, I have the results of the survey you requested. And? Well, despite the small ransom, the people polled support taking action rather than paying it. Interesting. Now, I don't have to warn you that taking action can be rather risky. Well, when that fails, I'll always have the pity card to play in the upcoming election. You shouldn't be here. Dalton, please. Josh and I were very close. Then why have you been such a poor advocate? You know the church's doctrines on, on suicide are difficult to sidestep. Now, I pleaded with the bishop. No. I truly have. Not good enough, obviously, because now we have to have Josh's funeral here. So can you just please leave? As you know, it was only a couple of years ago that that fellow of the dark of persuasion did the hope and change. So I'm trying to maintain something perhaps a little more unique. I have some, some great ideas, not the least of which is completely renovating my office. You need to understand, this is the South. And my family has been prominent in the South for a long time. Mr. MacArthur Griffin is, uh, 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 the rumors that have been going around are categorically untrue. And those bi-weekly meetings at the Ritz-Carlton, strictly and unequivocally for the purpose of getting down to business, uh, campaign business. Dispatch, this is Sergeant Dan Perry responding to your eyewitness report. Here at the wagon wheel, over. Okay, Mr. Law Professor, let's start with you. What's your name? Avery. George Avery. See some ID. I'm not a professor, but uh, I have been around, though. You certainly have, George. This license has been expired for years. So where are you headed, Mr. Avery? Hockey game, tomorrow night. Is that right? Of course. Chicago's in town. Thank you, Mr. Avery. Officer, is there something you're not telling us? The bus driver has stated that he had six passengers tonight, and yet all seven of you raised your hands. So it seems that one of you doesn't belong on that bus. Furthermore, I have reason to believe that this person is not a person at all, but something that crawled out of a fallen spaceship which has slammed into a snowdrift next to Tracy's Pond. Gage Hawkins, 28, single, no priors. Two years ago, your girlfriend was killed. You were considered a suspect. Case was closed due to insufficient evidence. Where is she? Where is Emily, Emily Moore? Moore.